Hello everyone, my name is Nick and we're looking at another cool game, my ultimate play the game on the ZX Spectrum. It's Pentagram, released in 1986, uh, was the third one in, no the fourth one, I'm getting that wrong, in the series. Nice music as always from these games. Yes, yeah, Saber Wolf was the first one, then Underworld, Night Law, and this is Pentagram. Written by Tim and Chris Stamper. Another isometric 3D game, plays pretty much the same as Night Law with a few differences. A bit like Saber Wolf, but in isometric 3D, I would say. What's going on in this game? Well, uh, having escaped the curse of the werewolf in the previous game, Night Law, Saber Man is disguised as a wizard for some reason, and here he is. We can fire fireballs this time. Uh, yes, I'm going off track. Yes, this guy's a wizard for some reason and he must track down the missing parts of the magic pentagram which are in this massive maze thing. Plenty of stuff to kill you and I'm trying to work out how to jump because that'll come in useful. So here he is. He has a pretty tough life, this Saber Man. Wherever he goes, there's lots of stuff for him to try and solve and that ghost will kill me as we're run walking into that sort of like bear or fox trap. So someone that pretty much doesn't like uh, Saber Man for some reason, they're always trying to kill him. Next in the series after this one should have been Maya Mare, but it never got released. But good graphics here. I love Ultimate Games. Plays very much like Night Law. But uh, in Night Law you couldn't fire anything, it was just jumping on obstacles. So this is an extra dimension to it. There was a witch flying around there. And some sort of crab thing. I never did very well on these games, they're all exploration, all look very similar. There's another game called Batman that also uses the same engine, and also Head Over Hills I think, which we'll uh, come to at some point, but they weren't sequels to this. Batman would have been a very odd sequel to this game. Unless Saber, Saber Wolf, Saber Man had uh, suddenly, well, moved to Gotham. So let's explore it. If you see any pieces of the pentagram, which I'm sure you won't in this game, <laughs> then, uh, then please let me know. But uh, we can find objects, pick them up to stand on them, to jump to higher levels. And that's what this game's all about. The objects um, aren't always in the same place. But the advantage of this one over the gameplay to Nightler is you're not consistently changing into a wolf backward and forward in a critical juncture. So we jump on this. There's no objects here. There's a, some sort of dragon's head moving backward and forward and I'm dead again. But nice use of colour. I say that, but it's always the same colour, but it changes quite quickly. By using the same colour each time, for each level, for each room, you, it avoids colour bleeds. They didn't even want to go there. But nice subtle changes, better than having it all the same colour, which takes a bit of interest. My score so far is zero, <laughs> and I'm on my last life. So as you can tell, I'm doing fantastic. Typically, oops, typically on these games I don't complete very much. There we go, completed 3% of the quest. So these games, um, very cute, draw you in, but you have to designate quite a lot of your time to uh, doing any decent level. As I said, I never completed it. 1986. The only ultimate game I ever did complete was Attic Attack, and so that goes down as my ultimate favourite. That wasn't 3D, that was a 2D affair. Check that one out, I have reviewed it. Uh, if you're just starting on the Spectrum, then uh, I recommend Attic Attack as a starting place. Brilliant game. Right, here we go. Right, there's me firing. See if I can work out how to jump. There we go. Right, back and fire button, that's it. So, have I got over it? Yeah. The collision detection is sometimes a bit tricky to judge. Cont controls are a bit awkward as well, but much like Night Law, left and right to steer it, and then, uh, or steer him, and then forward in the direction you're pointing. So, in a tight situation, it's very hard to move quickly, but at least I've sorted out the jump. Let's see if we can show you some more rooms at least here. Did you ever have this game, or any in the series really? Saber Wolf, Underworld, Night Law, or Pentagram? Um, I would have uh, reviewed all of them now. Saber Wolf, Underworld, Underworld, Night Law and Pentagram. I just like saying them in order. Would have nice to see Maya Mare, really. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to come to all of these. Whoops. For all of the isometric games, I say. If it's an ultimate game, it generally is quite well programmed. <laughs> that's, that's quite funny, that guy. He's trying to push the table out of the way. If I collide into him, I'm dead. Witch flying around again. Saber Man, what did he do to deserve all this, really? He's never going to go home in a million billion years. Maybe he's disguised as a wizard, because in Night Law you had to get um, 12 parts or 6 parts of a spell and put it in a, a, a cauldron there. So maybe after doing that he stole the wizard's clothes. 
He thought it was all going to be over, and it certainly wasn't. Score zero. I'm doing as well as last time. That's not bad, is it? Zero? Come on. Perhaps you get points for picking up objects or shooting things. I don't know. Zero? Have a look at that zero continually. If it goes up to any points, we're cooking. Is your high score in this game above zero? If so, let me know. Oh, 241. I must have shot something. There we go. So I'm no longer in the zero team. I'm not a loser. We've got 241 points. It's all very green in here. I need to jump up onto these moving ledges. But uh, they don't, I don't seem to be able to get on them. That's the only thing with this 3D. It's hard to judge how high things actually are. Get out of the way, ghosty. Hmm. I wonder what happens when you kill a ghost. A ghost is already dead, is it not? Perhaps it just vaporises and respawns somewhere else. Well, he's dead again. 673. This is the way to get points, and I can't seem to jump on that. It's a little bit too high. Oh. Oh, as I jump onto a bear trap again. They must expect a lot of bears coming through here, or something. They look pretty obvious. Only an idiot would jump directly on them. And that's what I keep doing. Let's see if I can jump on this. <laughs> I jumped onto another bear trap. Let's get out. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. This ain't very good. I'm getting maimed. Severely maimed. Oh, dear. I'm getting severely maimed here. Yeah, I've got one life left. But uh, at least we were a uh, big... What's that thing? Well, it's dead now. We got... We got s Whoa, yes. We're into quadruple figures in the scores. I wonder if I'm in disguise as Gandalf. I'm not fooling too many people. Let's see if we can get over this thing. It's a dragon's head. We're through? Well, we're almost through. Percentage of quests completed 5%, so, uh, yeah. I showed you all of the game there apart from that 95%. But you got a general overview of what you had to do, the graphics and the control system. Um, yeah, a, g a good game. I like all the ultimates, although I'm not particularly very good. Pentagram. Hope you liked having a look at that one. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Always appreciated. Thanks for watching again. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.